KW has done it again and upgraded us to new agent sites. Have you done it yet? We're going to talk about that today. Let's go. Before we get started, I got to give you guys a quick plug for KW Tech The Halls. It's coming up on December 6th. I know it's a couple months away, but you're going to want to get your tickets now. They're only $15. What is that going to get you? It's going to get you a full day, 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. of all the tech that you can handle and how to implement that in your business and in command. And leaders, we've got something for you too. So don't worry. There's something for everyone and it's going to be a cool gamified experience this year. So get your tickets now while you've got the early bird price of only $15 per person and market centers. We have a whole deal, only $1.99 for the whole whole market center to stream the event so get your tickets now while you can november 28th the tickets go up and i hope to see you guys at tech the halls december 6th hey everybody it's your favorite tech trainer bryn brewer and yes you are looking at my updated site right now and right out of the box you can see there's some fresh new colors there's a lot of hero images going on here and it's scrolling through some you can see the logos are a lot bigger. About me, search properties, blog more, login. None of this stuff is in drop down menu anymore. All of my social links are up at the top. I have scrolling down, I have my featured properties and I have some featured testimonials. Now I did add two just to, to play around. And then I also have my blog, that's new. That's a new feature in the new agent sites. And then we have the get in touch page. So yes, this is great. And um, we still have that accept cookies go, but that's that's great this is it looks great at first glance. So there's a couple things I want to mention if you're about to upgrade your site. One of those is on the legacy pages or the previous pages if you have custom pages created those will not migrate over to the new experience okay also landing pages will not migrate over if you are still using landing pages you will need to turn those off or leave them on and just jot down the urls or bookmark the urls you will not be able to edit those later to deactivate those you'll just go into landing pages and toggle off this green switch right here if it's off it will not be clickable if it's on, you will be able to click it. You'll need to do this before you upgrade your website, okay? Once you upgrade, you're not gonna be able to deactivate these landing pages. They're gonna stay on forever. You'll be able to go to them, but you will not be able to edit them. You're just gonna have to save those URLs somewhere, write them down, bookmark them, put them in your notes, okay? Now, at the top of the page, when you're on the consumer applet, it's the very last applet, bottom left of command, you're gonna click on the Upgrade My Website button. Then you're gonna read through about upgrading to your new agent site, and you're gonna click the Next button. It's gonna say Introducing New Agent Sites. You're gonna confirm that your domain name is correct. You can change your domain here, and I've had a couple of agents that did. So you're gonna make sure your domain is correct. Mark the checkbox that says by confirming your subdomain, you'll begin the upgrade process, and then click Claim Your Subdomain. You'll get to the next page. It's gonna confirm your subdomain. You click the check that says you can preview what your clients will see on your new website. If you wish to edit any of your legacy site pages before making your new site live, you need to go do that now, okay? You cannot edit any of that later. You have to do it now. You'll check I understand, click preview now, and then click next. Now, you're gonna get to this page, and this is an important page. It says, in order to provide our agents the best experience possible, any agent website that has not been upgraded by late 2023 will automatically be upgraded or de activated. So if you do not update, you're going to automatically be up upgraded or they're going to deactivate your website. So you want to make sure that you do this in a timely manner. You'll also, once you opt into this new website experience, you will not be able to return to the current experience or create any new landing pages. If you agree, click the check mark and click upgrade now. Then you'll be taken to a website builder will look similar to this. You'll see a pop-up you can take the tour or you can click explore on my own. I suggest if you have time to go ahead and take the tour. If you don't have time at the moment, you can come back in later and click tour at the top right. 
Okay. Once you get past this, your site's going to be live and you have the following default setup. You have a property search, featured properties, a blog, an about me page, and a leave a review page. At the top of the website builder that it takes you to once you do all this, you can see that you have your website and then you have some quick start buttons. These quick start buttons will be going over in future videos. But this, in essence, is how you set up your website to the new agent experience. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be sure to answer those. And happy upgrading. Hope you love your new website. I know I love mine.